Hey guys, Brent Hull, happy Wednesday, got a design video. Some of you said, hey, let me know what it looks like when it's done. So I went back to a job we'd done, I don't know, five or 10 years ago and wanted to pull out some of the, the details that we've done. So we'll look at a few of those. I wanted to start with the doorway and elevate in a doorway because there's a lot of classical elements and classical details in there and a lot of interesting ways to kind of make it better, but you'll see an end picture, kind of how it looks when we're finished. So come join me today. Okay, so here's a house that we worked on 10 years ago. And one of the things we solved was this entry. It's Colonial Revival House. And we'll walk through a few of the design things we worked on here, but how do we elevate this, right? How do we pick up this door? They've got a great Colonial Revival door, pretty good entry, but you know, this space in here, we could, you know, elevate, lift up, right? If this, if this whole thing could lift up, then it could highlight this door better, right? Because right now it competes a little bit. The stairs helps give your eye visual direction of where you're going, but we could lift this up. Now there's a number of ways to do this. One, we could do it by, you know, adding something over top, right? So this one, I've got, you know, kind of a faux railing over top with some kind of, you know, railing over top of it that, that works. Now, the problem with this is that it's a little bit thin, right? Because this, projection from the wall is probably six, eight inches. And so this is going to be sitting on a very thin, you know, foot. And so I, I don't love this. It does elevate it pretty good, but I don't think it's the, the right answer. You know, if you were going to do it, there's a few, you know, tricks to doing it. One is that there's a relationship between the neck of the column, okay, the beam of your entablature, right? And then the balustrade above. And so this neck always matches the, the neck of your beam, okay? And so this, the base of this piece is supposed to match that, be when the same size of that neck, and then it shrinks down, right, and goes up into another little design. So what happens is, is that these things get a little bit smaller and smaller as it goes up, but this, if this was this big, right, if this got really huge, or got too big or like over here, then the weight of this becomes too much for this to bear because then this neck, you know, can't visually carry this. So that's one solution, you know. Another solution is to add a pediment over top. So I could, you know, just do a, a pediment in here, come off the thing, maybe do a broken pediment. But what's happening is if you see, if I came off this thing, I'm still a little bit low. And so maybe I'm starting to play with the parts and pieces in here to elevate and lift this up. You know, this version shows me playing around with the columns because, you know, right now the top of my capital is right here. Okay. The next visual place that, that this should run across is here. So over on this side, I have, I've lifted this capital up right to that height because then if my architrave is in here, right and comes up, that's natural for this architrave to span this beam. So this could be my architrave in here coming across, and then I could have a freeze. My freeze can get uh, taller too, because I could put a triglyph inside here, and you know, a triglyph inside here, and all of a sudden my freeze becomes larger. Then by the time I put my cornice on, I can, I can get up there and get taller, right? And so I'm playing around with these elements and these details to create visual height, okay? What we finally did on this thing was we actually built the, the, the columns up to even over top of that, that, that door and actually put a panel in here. Then we did our pediment, right, with about a 22 degree lift with the triglyphs inside here, dental moldings, all these different details, right? So now I've got all that visual height, I've got this door lifted up, but I've taken this classical pediment, classical, you know, entablature and columns and everything else, and I've just elevated this whole thing. Inserting the panel in here allowed us to get a little more visual height, but now, you know, this really commands your attention and really commands this, this beauty and directs your eyes and kind of helps you get there. So hopefully kind of playing around with this, with this thing helps you see 
how playing with the parts and pieces, right? But in this case, the capital and where the capital goes ended up going up here, right? So that I could put a panel in here, really changed the way this looked and I think made it really beautiful. Okay guys, what do you think? Uh, I think that entry's better. I think that entry is elevated. I think it improves that house. And so that was a fun one to work on, great client. But let me know what you think, read all the comments. I'm Brent Hull, thanks for watching.